Bridge. We tracked the man down just to make sure he was all right because the story's so amazing. Hector from Mount Druitt. Hello, mate. Hey, Hector. Uh, how, uh, how, how are your injuries at the moment, mate? No broken bones? No, but fully. Pretty much. Oh, oh, mate, your bones are good, Hector. We've lost you. You're still falling down the scaffold. Yeah, we'll give him a call back. Let us, we'll call you back, we'll, We've been trying to track Hector down for a while. Hector, if you missed it, climbed some scaffolding, got to the top and was dancing quite a bit, was getting into the dance music, yep. and then unfortunately fell. Um, I think he was in his own world, in a little zone, yes. and fell. We got him back. You there, Hector? Yeah. Oh, that's better, mate. Now, OK. Now, tell us, what was going through your brain when you were climbing that scaffolding, Hector? Uh, straight up, when um, when I'm at a festival like that, man, uh, just when you're fist pumping your life away and you're just enjoying it so much, just, just want to get as close as you can to like just releasing every last fist pump that's inside you. Like, I don't know, man. It's just a mad feeling when you're the closer you get into the heavens. It's like it's just a mad feeling, man. When the music Pumping yeah. like that. Mate. I feel you, brother. I've got you, man. Yeah. Hector, what about, uh, because obviously when you got up off the ground and you realised you're excited, I think the police took you to hospital or someone took you to hospital, you're still fist pumping in the back of the car, were you, man? Yeah, bro. I've got, I got a lot of it on video, actually. Um, I'm going to release it on YouTube and that. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that is awesome, Hector. So, so, it's a positive message. Like, I understand a lot of people thinking, oh, man, this guy, what an idiot. Oh, I understand, but don't hate my life, man. At the end of the day, let's look at the positives out of this. I didn't get hurt. It's amazing. God used me as a to do this trip. I haven't had a hot shower in six years. <laughs> into the festival, didn't you want to come back to the festival? No, he got booted, mate. You're not, you're not to get back in. Yeah, I got there, uh, the hospital, because I was t telling me to stay there. I threw my neck brace off, and yep. then I escaped, and there was a taxi out the front. Very lucky for me. I got back there, but then the police was trying to arrest me. <laughs> police. <laughs> hey, Hector, was it, were you chemically enhanced at all, mate, when you were up on that scaffolding? I don't know, bro. Just out of work, whatever. I've been climbing on the table since I've got one and fist pumping. <laughs> Hector, that is an amazing story. We're so glad you survived. Uh, just so we can have this chat, we can't wait to see the footage on YouTube. Well, the big question is, Hector, everyone wants to know, will you climb more scaffolding at music festivals? Nah, man, you got to be responsible in life, huh? Yeah. You did say that it was a positive message, though. You did get up there, fall off, and survive. So, Hector, we want to thank you for coming on the show, man, and keep taking your top off and getting on those dance floors, bro. Love, love. love life, love life, that's the message I'm sorry for, love life, it's amazing, it's precious, it's a miracle. Yeah, Get on you mate, it's a the miracle that he is alive, wow. and he kept dancing wow. in the ambulance all the way last Well that's great, I love that interview. That's